Hey Capricorn, how are you? It's me, LB. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. So I'm going to use the Cosmic Slumber Tarot for your read this week. All the decks that I use in the channel are linked down below. And I had three cards fly out in your Shufflemancy and like one particular card just sort of like popping out of the deck. And already what I'm seeing is, is a much deeper and it is a much darker energy than I would anticipate coming out for you. And so in some capacity Capricorn it feels like you are being called into the depths of yourself because there is something in there that needs to be retrieved relieved released um and it feels like this is something that is coming from the inside out this is not something external to you that is doing it to you this is not even something that feels like guidance is coming in to do it it's almost just like your circadian rhythm it's like your natural alarm clock it's just your body is saying it's time for this and so it seems to be pulling itself out whether you like it or not um i do think that it is going to feel like incredibly powerful and liberating for you but it's definitely a conversation with self an examination of self that isn't the most comfortable for you so this is going to be a great reading just off the, just off the bat cap so let's pray as we do and we'll just get on just get on in there father god thank you for bringing me and my capricorns in for this reading i ask that you give me wisdom clarity and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for capricorns highest of love light alignment and assignment we praise you, we love you, we thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Cap. So the three cards that you had fly out is you had the moon, the high priestess, and then the knight. This is what I'm talking about when I say that these energies are deeper, they're darker, and they are profoundly more feminine than the energies that you personally like to sit in. And when I look at each one of these cards, there's water apparent. There's water here. In this High Priestess, it almost looks like there are these waves sort of billowing out from underneath her. And in this Knight card, there's all of this water too. And so this is really one, when I just examine these cards, just because of who I am and what I do, this absolutely looks like some kind of initiation, a spiritual initiation, an initiation in self, um, some, some kind of threshold that you have to cross through in which to gain greater access to your own reserves of power. But what the threshold is, it is an aspect of you, it is a depth of your own emotion, it is the confrontation of your own darkness that is what you have to acknowledge that is what you have to integrate in order to move through into a greater sense of self and what was really sticking out to me in all of these cards is the doubles i know we're in gemini season happy birthday to my gemini's but in this card you notice how there are these two figures right back here almost sort of looking like the lovers card they almost look like statues and then in this high priestess card there's another one right here, another person hiding in the pit of you. And then in this card, there's one person up in a tree and then there's another person down here. And so a lot of these energies for me, Capricorn, are coming through with this idea of the other Capricorn, the dark Capricorn, your alter ego. It's as if there is this other person that sort of lives inside of you who is not safe for work is not um presentable to society it is the aspects of you that are not nice necessarily right they are not uh well polished or well groomed and so you kind of keep them locked in a cupboard like harry potter while you go forward and you try to be the sun all of these energies are lunar and as i'm tapping into that i hear this song by this band called, I believe it's called the Big Big Bang, I think. I could be wrong about that. I'll, I'll link it in the, in the cards at the end. And they have this one song called Little Moon. Could you be like my little moon? And then that got me thinking. All of this, this moon, this internal, this emotional, this dark, this depth. 
your moon, the other part of you, the dark Capricorn. And I thought, where does the moon get its light from? And it made me realize that the moon gets its light from the sun. And the sun, Capricorn, is the version of you that is presentable to society, that does get everything done, that is the strong one, that is always presentable, is always available for work, for people, for support, whatever it is. And there is this feminine, this receptive, this intuitive, this emotional, this dark part of you that at times you refuse to acknowledge. You may even shame yourself for it. But it's almost as if there is an aspect of your outer self that is sick of carrying all of the weight. There is a part of you that is sick of having to be so perfect all of the time that doesn't want to be presentable that doesn't want to be pleasing to others it doesn't want to be the strong one and because of that it's trying to shine its light into your moon into this internal emotional darker other aspect of you the alter ego i have this incredible feeling Capricorn that there have been few times in your life where you have let the other Capricorn step forward but it feels like they've been times and they've been with people that have been like heavily guarded it's like those moments those entanglements those affairs those situations in your life that you don't tell anyone about that like the dark Capricorn has had a few of its moments in the sun you allowed it to be fully embodied and to kind of live it out but only for a few brief moments or a few brief phases in your life or with a few people that like you swore to secrecy that they would never say that there was this other part of you that exists and you almost try and like the moon cover it in darkness pretend like it's not there but you know it's sort of always creeping around in the shadows i think when we talk about like fighting your own internal demons i, I think that it's this darker aspect of you that you refuse to acknowledge and from time to time it kind of rears its ugly head around and it may manifest itself through anger or through frustration or hyper competitiveness and so you kind of swallow it back down and you use it as fuel and your sun shines brighter but every time you do that you are holding yourself to an even higher and even higher and even higher standard it's as if because this aspect of you has been so long hidden or rejected or it's only allowed to be expressed in like very private or secure situations that the outward part of you that the rest of the world sees has to constantly be overcompensating for the other parts of you that you feel are bad or inadequate and when i was looking at this card sort of sticking out of the deck i pulled it and it's the it's the <laughs> it's the tower card i want to say it's the tarot card but that should be kind of obvious but because that came out i wonder if this is a card perhaps that you've been pulling for yourself a lot or if there is a particular tarot card that seems to be coming out in all of your readings whether you're watching them or whether you're pulling them for yourself pay attention to that it's really important when we look at the major arcana the major arcana is the journey of self and the soul throughout a lifetime and so if you find that particularly a certain major arcana card keeps popping out for you that's an indicator that that is a phase that is a lesson that is an aspect of human and spiritual development that you have yet to master and you are still making your way through and if that is the case i implore you to go to the card before it and review the lessons and the mastery that you pulled from it because that may help you move through that particular tarot card but when we're looking at this tower moment this is not an external situation from what i'm gathering that's coming in and shaking you up i don't know if there's something outside of you that is particularly triggering to you right now but it doesn't feel like it it feels like i said before it's sort of like this circadian rhythm it's just time for it it's something that your body is doing nothing's happening around you to cause it spirit isn't pushing you into it this is entirely like a you with you against you type of situation and i think that makes you uncomfortable capricorn because you are a really good responder you're really skilled at responding to external situations responding to external chaos you actually use external chaos to 
further reinforce and strengthen you um, to get you kind of brace against it and pull out kind of greatness in yourself. But what do you do when the chaos that normally you use as fuel is coming from the inside out and it's not a chaos that can be put in a box it's like Pandora, right? It's one that you have to go through. You have to look at it. All of the hands in this card really stick out to me as well. This came through in Sagittarius's reading. Something about like grubby little mitts. Grubby little mitts. Um, people taking advantage of, of Sagittarians. Um, in this, for you today, the energy is similar. But it's almost a frustration with self about how you have encouraged people to sort of take too much that you have lived out the role of being the provider being the strong one being the fix it type of person that you have created an environment you've created a, a standard of self um, for yourself that now it's like you cannot break free from it it's almost like you've created like a prison of your own making and you're looking back at like all of the times where people took advantage of you how much of their energy like you're still holding on as this tower cracks open it's like all of these people are flying out but this could also have to do with your own energy capricorn like i see this tower cracking open and it could be the realization of like all of the different people that you've been in your life like all of the characters that you've played um in order to be the sun in order to be the one in order to be successful to not just be seen in a certain light but it feels like you've done this because you want to see yourself as a certain type of person yes you want to see yourself as a certain type of person and so there have been these moments maybe specific opportunities situations environments or people and you had to swallow you have to you had to swallow their energy you had to swallow your shadow your personal moon your darkness there was no room for it there and now there is this moment where it's like you're kind of spitting it all back up it's like you're spitting up the characters that you've played throughout your life you're realizing all of the people you've had to become so that way you could feel like the person you wanted to be all the while there is still this other person that lives inside of you this dark moon this lilith this capricorn and it's a part of you that like you can never get rid of and it's a part of you that you are ashamed of because it doesn't fit in that box it doesn't fit in the cookie cutter it doesn't fit in your highest idealized version of self but it's almost as if because this exists within you you cannot actualize your highest version of self and so it is always like this enemy within this battle and because you cannot win this boss battle because it's with yourself again you just suppress it you suppress it you suppress it but the time for that is over the time for that is very much over even your higher self like you may be sort of bucking against this energy but it feels like your higher self just keeps opening the door it's like there's nothing wrong with it let's look at it let's explore it let's master it let's bring it in this is another tool and you're going no that part of me is bad i don't want other people to know that i like that or that i do that or when i was before i started pulling cards for you i was sitting in a bit of a meditation and a lot of the visuals that were coming through were very oh hello they are you all right i hope you're all right they were very abstract they were really really kind of technicolor and so and this is not a recommendation but i wonder if some of you may be exper experimenting with like plant medicine right now again i'm not condoning it i'm not advising it i'm not suggesting it it's just an energy that i'm picking up if some of you may be experimenting with plant medicine and that is a way in which you are trying to explore this energy, this part of you. But again, not just putting it out there. Hangman. Injustice. You 
you got a you have all pretty much major arcana your entire reading is major arcana this knight card i consider to be an extra major arcana in this deck you have the moon the high priestess this knight the tower justice and the hangman and i shuffled the shit out of this deck this is what i'm saying before when we look at the major arcana when we're breaking down the components of tarot it talks about the progression of our soul and our human development simultaneously and when all of these major arcanas are coming out this is one of those moments that you can't buck against it it's like you can't stop you can't stop the rock capricorn that's happening within you it is the time for it that's why it's just happening automatically that's why it cannot be avoided that's why it's like the main thing on your to-do list right now and that's also why those first three cards feel a lot like initiation to me because you're being initiated into a higher sense of self initiated into a higher attainment of personal power and i think within that there is this sense that you're going to come into a new a new balanced vision for what happiness looks like for you a new definition of self one that is much more supportive and loving of all of you not just the parts of you that look good on paper and i think that's what this justice and the hanged one is really talking about here it's like the crimes committed against self justice talks about balance right but it also talks about accountability and ways in which when you reject these parts of you capricorn it is a, a form of self-abuse it is a crime against self and it never really has the impact or the positive effect that you want it to just like this hangman it's like a pendulum you will get so far before you just end up back at net zero but one of the lessons that we learned from the hangman it's about enlightenment it's that new <laughs> digestion all of a sudden it's about enlightenment it's those light bulb moments it's meditation it's prayer it's a real discovery into the depths of self that give us those personal revelations that allow us to swing past our previous limitations and i think this is where in the past like you haven't quite been able to get over the hump but if all of these major arcana cards are coming out if this energy is coming out so strongly there's a reason why you are supposed to get over this hump there is something really important here for some of you it might be a potential relationship because again this felt a little bit like the lover's card if the lover's card comes out for the rest of this reading i'm gonna lose my mind i really am um but for some of you it has to do with a relationship a potential relationship whether it's romantic or platonic your ability or your inability up until this point to really connect with people in a deep and meaningful way and it's only because you're letting them see like one side of your moon only the side of it that is shining light you may even share stories with people about like some old time some of the things you did it's almost like you have like a collection of like imperfect character moments your human moments and those will be the things that you share with other people capricorn to make you seem less perfect to make you seem more human to make it seem like you're being vulnerable and you're really sharing with them but like it's really the tip of the iceberg like there's a whole other secret vault again that like you keep hidden inside with like all the good stuff right it's like it's like the hard liquor you keep the good stuff in that cabinet and no one gets to see it because that for you feels like a disqualifier they will think it's almost like imposter syndrome they will think that who i am on the outside or who i present myself to be in these situation is completely fraudulent if they saw what i had in the back cabinet i'm pisces i see all, i see everything oh it's the devil <laughs> it's like if it's the lover's card man lose my mind the devil that's too it's it's a lot of major arcana baby it's it's seven major arcana card right in a row and i tell you i i'm shuffling this deck like i really am i really really am this is your card though and look in the, look here it's like the fresh face you have all these pentacles you have all the money stars in your eyes like open hands all of this beautiful stuff but then there is this more animalistic part of you that's sort of hiding just in the back of your consciousness it is Gemini season, but as a Capricorn, it's almost like you create Gemini and energy for yourself, like that angel and that devil on your shoulder. You create those moments where you probably have to sit there and go, 
how am I going to approach this? Like, am I going to do what like the dark moon wants? And then going, no, I have to be more disciplined. That's not the right way to do it. Like I have to go forward and put on my good face, right? Put on my brave face. It's kind of wild here, but don't forget the devil is the other side of the pendulum of the lover's card. It's of the lover's card. And here they are again, it's the, what you put out and what you receive, how you feel versus what you show. And they're at such a distance here. And there almost is like this sense of loneliness that comes from the inside that cannot be filled with money. I, it's like, the, it's a sense of you probably are very successful. You're probably really good at your work. You probably have a solid crew around you. But it's like, it's that feeling of it's never enough. Like, and ne nothing ever fills the void. Not the people or the status or the money, the success, the stability. It never quite fills the void because it's a void that's carved in the shape of you right and again we look at this hangman there's a reflection here right in the water it's very um Judith is it's very man in the mirror i'm looking at the man in the mirror is that that's exactly what it feels like with like with the seven of torches just for the sake of pulling a minor arcana even with the seven of torches in the back it's like this barrier again that you put up no no i'm not gonna look at that no 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 one else can look at it either but Here's the thing, it's like, what's the big hairy deal? Sometimes understanding deeply and truly like who we really are, the good, the bad, I like to say being able to hold space for the ugly. What if it gives you a better sense of self? What if it actually makes you feel more equipped and, and stronger? As I was, I was telling some of my students the other day, so the whole concept of power, power isn't money, power isn't control over other people, power is the ability to have control over yourself, to be able to look in all of your crevices, in all of those dark cabinets, in the, in the back of your psyche and not be afraid of them. Sometimes we talk about fear, you know, don't fear fear, but the thing that we fear most is ourselves. We fear our power, we feel our destructive nature, we, we fear our own darkness. And that makes it harder for us to shine all of our light, right? And so I think at the end of the day, Capricorn, this is really an extremely important journey for you. It doesn't feel like one that you can get out of. It doesn't feel like one that someone can write you a note for. There, There is no, you know, hall pass for this um, because it's coming from you. You know, your soul, the alarm clock on your soul has gone off and it's really time to go in and explore these depths and see if you can release that sense of shame surrounding these darker aspects of you. Because that's what a lot of this is. It's about moving through the shame of accepting who you actually are versus who you would like other people to think that you are. And that all of this is good. That even the darkness can be good. Even the ugly can be beautiful. That you can be multi-layered. You can be a deeply flawed individual Capricorn. And you can still be good. Alright? Alright, so. Woo! You really had to just, we just really went in there. It's like first reading of the day, Capricorn. It's not messing around. I am going to leave it here for you, Cap. I'm going to go do an extended reading though. So if you're interested in your extended reading or your monthly reading for May, those are going to be the top two links in the description box. I always encourage you guys to check out Patreon. We have all of the extended, all of the monthlies. I am taking on a couple more students from the mystery school thus far. Um, if you want to book with me, you can book me through my website and any decks or spiritual tools you need will be in my Amazon storefront below. I love you so much. I hope that this was helpful for you. I will see you in the extended Capricorn. Bye-bye.